Hey guys, hey guys I'm, a I'm a gamer. But I'm also a minor, minor upper uh, Guys, this is a little bit too loud. I'm gonna try and get some sleep in my bed. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, I paid $2,000. Can I get a refund? If you want to get yourself a cheap, legit Windows 10 Pro Key license, then today's video sponsor SCD Keys has you covered for as little as $14. When you use that coupon code BFTYC, you can get Windows activated right now. Links in the description below. Well, we got the reports in and I've actually tested the drive already that the RTX 3060 algorithm nerf has been circumvented and it's from nvidia themselves via the form of a windows insider beta driver now i got this driver through the web and regardless of whether nvidia has taken the driver down or not it's out there on the web you ain't getting rid of that driver anymore so this driver basically it's the 4070.05 you download this and if you've got a rtx 3060 in your top pcie slot which is usually called pcie zero and you have a monitor cable connected to the card, you then get the uh, mining limiter unlocked for Ethereum, which is the, in this case, I was testing the mining, it's the Dagger Hashimoto uh, miner. And that essentially gives you the most profit. So this card, after a bit of tuning, it will now be quite profitable, just like all the other RTX 3000 cards before it. However, after doing some more testing with this, I did notice if you change the card into a say different PCIe slot, and even if you connect a monitor to it, it then does drop the hashing rate down on that 3060, not the other cards in the rig. So basically what this means is if you have your RTX 3060 in the top slot, monitor connected, and then you fill out all the other slots on the motherboard with graphics cards, you can still have an RTX 3060 in your mining bench. And now here's the thing that sucks about this is that the crypto miners will now buy up 3060s and just put them on their top slots in their mining rigs. So it's done nothing in terms of helping out the average gamer. And in fact, this new update, and apparently it's not coming out now, it's taken down, it doesn't matter. I'm guessing Nvidia wanted to help out the average gamer, whatever that is. Uh, because right now the, the whole 3060, just like every other 3000 series card is now sold out. And in fact, I've got proof right here. Yesterday, it was there for 760 Aussie dollars today sold out so there it is congratulations nvidia if you wanted to sell these cards out to miners you did a fantastic job of doing that but i don't know about this argument of okay but what about the gamer that wants to leave his graphics card on overnight and sleep and make money and then get back to gaming the next day well here's a news flash they can go buy an rtx 3070 but guess what the RTX 3070 is now double the price. There, if that's if you want to mine while you sleep, go pay the premium. That's how the markets work right now. And it's a crony capitalist structure that's now going into the land of gaming graphics cards. Congratulations, Nvidia. Congratulations, people who make these anti-ASIC resistant cryptocurrency nodes. Fantastic job. And now we're seeing the market decide on the pricing of the RTX 3060, which lo and behold is now sold out at decent prices. Well, geniuses out there, Nvidia, if you guys listened to the actual market, you would have realized that this was working. Your plans of nerfing the uh, cryptocurrency hashing rates, at least in Australia, this was working. People could buy these cards at not so ridiculously high prices. And now I'm gonna get back to me. I'm a complete idiot because I reported on this story and I said, hey, Nvidia, I think what you're doing here was a good thing. And I said that publicly on my channel and then I was met with a heap of different people saying, Brian, you're a fool for trusting Nvidia. But the actual methodology behind this was starting to work. We saw this at least in Australia here. I don't know about other countries, but at least where I'm here, people weren't buying these 3060s up like they were buying up the 3070s and 3060 Ti's to mine cryptocurrency on and even the 3080s. So this was starting to work. This method was a good method. And that's what I was putting my weight behind when I made that original video. And so literally a few weeks later, something that seems to be working now has the solution hacked by the people who made the solution themselves, NVIDIA. And for what it's worth, I didn't believe many of the people in the comments when they said this was gonna be hacked or it's gonna be cracked and they employ these 
magical fairies over in China that can crack the NVIDIA technology. They don't need to do any of that. They just need to rely on NVIDIA to release the solution themselves. And now I asked NVIDIA for comment on this and I got back and they officially said that it was an accident. The driver was released accidentally with the hash rate limiter removed. But going forward, I'm gonna simply make one thing and that is I'm gonna be just like the skeptics now and when I report on news like this, I'm not gonna say it's a good thing. I'm just gonna simply say, here's the news. Let's wait and see until a few months after it's been released, if we can trust these guys. And all the skeptics were saying, it doesn't matter if the skeptics were right or wrong. The skeptics were saying the bottom line is, we can't trust this. And those guys were right. They can't trust this tech that you guys implemented over at NVIDIA because it's already been busted by you guys yourselves. But single-handedly, the worst thing about this driver update is that it now actually favors the cryptocurrency miners rather than the gamer who wants to sleep in their free time and make some money. This favors them, the miners, because you've now got a limited driver that's out there that will unlock the rates and the new drivers coming out, I'm presuming, they will have that cryptocurrency lock installed. So basically the gamer that wants to sleep and make money with their 3060, they're gonna have to backdate their driver to a beta driver. And then if they wanna play the latest games with the best FPS or play the latest games, period, they're gonna have to then get that latest driver, then backdate if they wanna mine in their sleep. Way to go, Nvidia, way to go. Now, we're gonna close out this video and say, look, there's a few people saying, oh, Brian, you're anti-crypto, you're anti-crypto. I'm not anti-crypto in the sense that if you've got money and you wanna make return on your investment, of course you're gonna go out and buy a graphics card and put it in a system and click play and get free money. I'm not against that. That's the market, that's what markets do. I'm against the people that make these cryptocurrency algorithms anti-ASIC. And we can go down this argument and argue back and forth all day long. The bottom line is you've got a more efficient piece of tech that's been introduced and it's being blocked. And before people say, oh, well, it creates e-waste, a graphics card will create e-waste as well. Just an ASIC will do a more efficient job and therefore make less waste if we're looking at the grand scheme of things. And that's presuming that cryptocurrency is forever like some of the cryptocurrency bulls say it is. So the bottom line is I'm not against the average person who's got the free market mentality. No, you're playing by the rules fine. It's the people who make the game that are making such a game that's corrupt. So from the survey I did, 82% of people did not mine cryptocurrency. Then there was people who mined with their singular card. Then there was about 5% of people who had dedicated crypto rigs, which is a big number considering there's also commercials and all those numbers will make up more greater supply of graphics cards than that 82%. This is even on my channel where I take more of a stance towards anti-GPU mining. But of course, the people out there who wanted to make me on anti-ASIC resistant, we could just go a step further and say, imagine a world where they made the cryptocurrencies anti-GPU compute, then you would just have CPUs. Imagine what would happen to CPU prices all over again. So you can start to see here that there's just a simple chain that you're using less efficient technology to mine these cryptocurrencies. It just happens to be that there's that fallback there and that is, of course, if the cryptocurrency crashes or it goes out, then there's always the fallback to sell your hardware to. And that, of course, is the gamer. And the last thing I'll say is this. Being a guy that grew up with gaming, especially PC gaming, I love this industry. I love PC gaming. And even then, I think some of the tech that NVIDIA's introduced, DLSS 2.0 and stuff like that, it's really good tech. You guys do a good job of making stuff for gamers. So why not keep focusing on gamers? The solutions to this problem are simple. I thought what you did with the 3060 before this driver mishap was actually a good thing. And a lot of people probably did think it's a good thing. Judging by that like to dislike ratio, even though some people didn't like that original video, I think a lot of people did like what you were doing with the 3060 limiter. The second piece of advice I'll give you guys over at NVIDIA is please get your PR in line. If you guys are testing a driver out, that has this unlocked hash rate limiter, inform the public, get their opinion on it. Say, hey guys, we're working on a driver where the intent is to have the single gamer that wants to make a bit of money in their sleep be able to benefit from that and not the commercial miners or even people with multiple GPUs. And then the third thing is, and I think the most important thing is, try not to let it be an accident or let it leak to the public. Though in the meantime, the skeptics were proven right and I'm sitting here now looking like an NVIDIA. So cheers, NVIDIA, for that one. 
Anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button. And before you get on out of here, do let us know in the comment section below what you think about all the points that we discussed here in today's video. Do you think that this was a good thing that Nvidia initially did, or do you think that was a bad thing? Or of course, I think everyone generally agrees that this mishap here on Nvidia's behalf is just one of the stupidest things I've seen in a long time. Anyhow, we got the question of the day here, which comes from DmanPC1, and he asks, have these sold already? Can't find them on Gumtree or Marketplace. So they're talking about yesterday's video where we did the $100 flip up challenge, and I haven't listed one of the PCs because that's already pre-sold. Like I already got a message about that before I could even list it. Someone wants to buy that, so that's already gone. I will be listing the GTX 1080 PC soon. There's a 6700 XT review I've got to get through as well. So stay tuned for that. That'll be dropping in your sub boxes a little bit later, actually under 12 hours. So stay tuned for that one. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. If you stayed this far and you're enjoying that tech yes content, then be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll catch you in another one very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.